हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर एस एम खान एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ साइकोलॉजी अलीगढ़ मुस्लिम यूनिवर्सिटी अलीगढ़ आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट टेट्राकोरिक कोरिलेशन दिस इज वन ऑफ द मेथड फ्रॉम नॉन पैरामेट्रिक स्टैटिस्टिकल टेक्निक्स the tetrachoric correlation estimates what the correlation would be if measured on a continuous scale tetrachoric correlation is used to measure rater's agreement for binary data the binary data is a data with two possible answers usually right or wrong this type of correlation has the advantage that is not affected by the number of rating levels or the marginal proportions for rating levels tetrachoric correlation assumes that both traits or variables under study are normally distributed if you look into this scatter plot how narrow the ellipse is the correlation coefficient will be high about the dactomyia is uh, nature of the data it has been quoted it is a bad habit of psychologists this is not the case sometimes perfectly good quantitative data is made binary because it seems easier to talk about high versus low this is because of the fact in testing situations a person got a score it is unitless it is difficult to understood by a layman what is meant by a number so on the basis of some criterion psychologist used to categorize the scores in different categories so as the case of dactomy a score can be categorized on the basis of number of methods median percentile scores and so on the nature of the tetrachoric correlation of data set is that it is a 2 by 2 contingency table two rows and two columns and all cells are labeled as a b c d you will see this scene into the next slide if ad if you multiply the cell frequencies of cell a with cell frequencies of cell d and the multiplication is greater than bc then it will be a positive correlation and the formula used to calculate the tetrachoric correlation is cosine 180 degrees into under root bc divided by under root ad plus under root bc in second situation there is a possibility 
when BC is greater than AD, the tetra correlation between two variables will be negative. In formula, in numerator, this BC has been replaced by AD. And the denominators are same in both the case. Since critical values are not given in negatives or it is not possible to have the cosine value in negative but in case of tetra correlation it is suggested the experimenter must affix the negative sign in this condition. The third scene when AD is equal to BC, the tetra correlation between two variables will be zero. Now going ahead for the example, for example, if we are interested, successful then unsuccessful salesmen tend to be socially well adjusted. You are being asked to test the hypothesis for the following data set. In the columns, this is one of the variables which has been categorized, diatomized in two categories, socially adjusted, socially poorly adjusted. To other sides, we are having two categories, unsuccessful and successful. And the cell frequencies are given as follows. It can be expressed socially adjusted salesmen and unsuccessful in nature are 25 and so on. Now revisiting and recasting the earlier table on the basis of nature of the variables and their categories, they, they have been assigned the positive direction, socially adjusted, negative direction, socially poorly adjusted, to this side unsuccessful negative trade and successful positive trades and similarly coming to the cells if you look into the a and d the diagonal values the correlation of socially adjusted with successful salesmen will be positive and so as the case, the correlation between socially poorly adjusted and unsuccessful will be positive. To the off diagonal, you are considering the opposite traits. So the correlation between socially adjusted and unsuccessful salesmen will be negative and so on. Now, Calculate the value of AD, A 35 multiplied by 30, we are having 1050 and BC 25 into 10 equal to 250. When you compare these two values, the condition is satisfied it is AD greater than BC. So this formula is applicable to calculate the uh, tetra correlation. After putting the values of respective cells and the cos 59 degree 
which is equal to 0.515. This value can be examined against the critical value which is given in the next slide. On the basis of this correlation, it, the inference, the conclusion can be drawn. There is positive correlation between successful and socially adjusted salesmen. The critical values are given. So if you go to the this uh, cosine 59 degrees, so this is the value of tetra correlation. Another scene may be to, in calculating the tetra correlation, you can directly calculate the values of tetra correlation based on odds ratio. The, you are having the values AD is equal to 1050, BC is equal to 250, hence the AD is greater than BC. Calculate the odds ratio AD divided by BC, you are having 4.20. So if you compare the value, it is 0.51. So directly without going to the formula, this is a critical table given in a statistical textbook. Another condition if BC is greater than AD, then calculate the odds ratio as BC divided by AD and attach a negative sign to correlation after going through this table. Pros and cons of the tetra correlation. Same interpretation as you used to make in terms to the Spearman and Pearson product movement correlations. Difficult to calculate the exactly as we have been doing in other case. It makes assumptions about the distribution of the data set. Odds ratio, easy to understand, but no perfect association that is manageable. Easy to calculate, not comparable to correlations, may give you different results or inferences uses. The tetra correlation coefficient is used when both variables are diatomous like the phi but we need also to be able to assume both variables really are continuous and normally distributed. Thus it is applied to ordinal vis a vis ordinal data which has this characteristic. Ranks are discrete. So in this manner, it's, it differs from the Spearman. The formula involves a trigonometric function called cosine. The cosine function in its simplest form is the ratio of two side lengths in a right triangle, especially the side adjacent to the reference angle divided by the length of the hypotenuse. To revisit the uh, our discussion, if you go to the tetra correlation, the both variable x and y are required to be diatomous, but the assumption both variables are to be normally distributed. Thank you.